What's up everybody? Welcome to another workout. We're going to hop right in a full body warm up, getting our heart rate up, our muscles warm, our body warm so we can be ready to go and perform greatly in this workout. So think about how you can perform greatly during this workout. What can you enjoy? What can you get better at today? Why are you here? That's what I always like to start out the sessions with. And you are here. You opened the video, so you did it. Pat yourself on the back. We're going to move right into it. First movement, we're getting sky reaches in place. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to swing one leg forward. I catch the heel behind me. So this is what it looks like from the side. Swing forward, catch the leg behind me. Other arm reaches up, reload. Swing, catch, reload. Let's get three each side. Hope you guys have had an amazing day thus far. It's always fun. Uh, even times when you don't necessarily feel like working out, it's always fun to just start moving. The more you move, the more momentum you get. The more momentum you get, the more you feel like doing something. That's where we use the momentum, that's where we use the energy for us to get more out of the workout. So we're going to move right into skips in place now. So skips in place, similar to high knees or jog, but now I'm just getting some tempo to it. So just like I'm skipping on to grandma's house, the sun's out, the clouds are out, I'm going to go get some cookies, go get some lemonade, I'm going to make my lemonade stand, just skipping in place. So this is adding a little bit more tempo coordination to a general warm-up rather than just jogging in place. Skipping seems really simple, kids do it, it takes a lot of coordination, a lot of rhythm, a lot of patterning. I didn't know how to skip whenever I was younger, I remember being in elementary gym class and they were just harping on me, skip right, skip, but I couldn't. I had no tempo, so I had to find it. I had to get back within my body and learn how to skip. So if you're right there, if you don't know how to skip, guess what? We're going to practice it. We all get better at it. Now I'm moving into arm circles. So we're getting it. big circles front, warming up our shoulder joint, turning around. Another thing, y'all, this is a simple exercise, but it's very funny, and I realized this early on, once I started working with uh, top professional athletes, whether it was guys on New England Patriots, I remember the first guy I worked with, I was just like, wow, am I really doing this? They're over here doing this for their warm-up in their training camp. Very simple stuff, creates a great foundation, which then you build off upon. So it's very funny, uh, we're gonna move into smaller circles arm in place now. It's very interesting, very funny how simple and effective the, the simple and the little things are to do before we work out. And really we think the pro guys are doing all these crazy warm-ups and all these bounce, catch and tennis ball, and glass, blinking glasses on. And I've seen that, but what do they always return to? What, does all, what do all of us always return to? The simple stuff. Now we're gonna go lunge with rotation. This is gonna be forward direction. I step forward, drop my back knee. I'm gonna rotate over the front leg. Shoulder laser pointers facing the wall as I rotate. Reset. Whenever I think of laser pointers, I think of a robot like <laughs> You can make noises, you can do whatever you want. Hey, we're having fun with it, man. Training does not have to be serious. Now, we're gonna be intent, we're gonna be focused. But hey, training is supposed to be fun. The more fun something is, the more we do it, right? So start to associate having fun with training. I mean, make it fun, make it real. We're all living here. We're all just trying to get healthier, more fit, more muscular, lose weight. Let's have fun with it. Let's do it. We got three each leg. We are good to go. I'll see you in the workout. Make sure to grab some water. Peace.